Oh, today, the feds are beginning what could be a very long investigation into why two planes collided over the Watsonville airport. We now know all three people on board, both planes have died. NBC Barry's Ian Cole is live at the Watsonville Municipal Airport, where federal investigators gave an update for the first time today. Ian. Yeah, yeah, and officials stress that they are still in the early stages of this investigation. They spent much of the day at both of the wreck sites, uh, including examining this mangled Cessna 152 as they try and piece together what went wrong. Today, a somber mood hangs over the Watsonville Airport as pilots, witnesses and neighbors try to process yesterday's deadly midair collision. Federal investigators are here as well, sifting through and cataloging the wreckage. We'll be here all day today gathering factual evidence of the scenes and afterwards we'll be conducting witness interviews. The collision happened while both planes were on final approach to landing. Like many small airports, this one doesn't have a control tower, so pilots must communicate with each other about their specific locations. The radio broadcast catches the moments before and after it happened. I'm going to go around then because you're coming at me pretty quick, man. Everybody, please be advised there is an accident towards uh, runway 20. Please be advised, Watsonville. The Cessna 152 with one on board crashing down yards from a neighborhood. Surveillance video captured the moment the second plane, a Cessna 340, hit a hangar at the airport. Two people were in the aircraft with their dog. Today, we spoke with Alex Saiwan. He was at the airfield checking his plane when he heard the crash. I looked up and I was, as I looked up, I could see the 152 break apart and come down in pieces. And I saw the 340 go by at a high rate of speed and a slow, it was slowly rolling further and further to the left. According to the tail number, this Cessna 152 was a plane commonly rented out by United Flight Services, which has offices at the airport. Today, Giacomo Bernardi stopped by the crash site. He's flown this exact plane a number of times. Those planes are very, very safe. So uh, it will be interesting to uh, listen to the investigation to know exactly what happened. The NTSB will put out its preliminary report in two weeks. A full report could take up to two years. Investigators will be looking into the pilots, planes, and conditions during the collision. Well, airspeed. Uh into the, uh, in the approach phase to the airport is an area that we're going to be looking at. The three victims haven't been identified yet. According to FAA data, one of the planes is registered here. The other is registered near Merced. And the NTSB says that tomorrow morning, both of the planes will be removed from this airport site and taken to a facility just north of Sacramento for further examination. Live in Watsonville, Ian Cole, NBC, Bay Area News.